Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching on what is quite a rainy day. So we're, we're now into our third day of the rain here, which is lovely, keeping the place much cooler. So today we're going to go and have a look around uh, our old college. So we have the umbrella here because it is raining currently as we speak. So let's turn our camera around here. So starting here, we have down the back of the school, apartment buildings. Uh, we have, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, I think six apartment buildings here, uh, which house uh, staff, ex-staff. Occasionally we will have, uh, if we need extra space for students, we'll have students in here, uh, uh, retired folk, and then they also rent some out to the public as well. So these are, I believe, all owned by the by the school. Uh, we see down the side here, so that's a new elevator shaft on the right. And we have another elevator being built, almost finished on the left here. So a lot of these buildings are getting elevators put in, which is really good. I'm um, waiting for the one to be put in my building. Not that it matters too much, I'm only on the second floor. Uh, but yeah, that's been a part of the, uh, I believe it was a part of the COVID relief thing, uh, just to keep the economy tipping, ticking along. They've been doing different little projects like that just to keep businesses operating, which has been really good. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the people who live in the upper floors on these apartments are very thankful of that. So just before, so we see here, this building here has got two completed elevator shafts built. Uh, building down the end has got a couple already finished as well. So just to explain the school here, uh, basically we have three campuses at the moment. Uh, we have the two out of Dinghu that you've seen in previous videos and then this one here in Duanzhou. So previously, uh, well, when I first arrived, First year students went to the old campus out at Dinghu, which, well, it's funny calling it the old campus now because it's newer than this one. Uh, then when they got to second year, they would come here. Now, when I arrived here, we had another campus here in Duanzhou out towards the train station here, which housed the comprehensive students, which is like high school age. So just go through the school system they do primary school up to year six, then they go to middle school for three years, I believe. After that, they either go to high school or they go to a, a comprehensive school where they learn job specific skills. So yeah, so first year college students were out at Dinghu, second year college students would then come here. Uh, now that we've got the new the new college built out at Ding Hoof. Both first and year, second year students are there. The last year comprehensive students have been at the old Ding Hu campus. Uh, but they will be moving here this next semester coming up, so in a month or two. So we're going to have a look around this campus and uh, just see what's going on here because there's a lot of work going on. So this here, look, what we're looking at here is the garage driver's area. So we have oh, probably half a dozen drivers employed by the college. So we see a couple of the cars in there uh, and we have a number of buses. So they got, what have we got? Three, four, five cars parked in there I can see. We also have, so this uh, transit van here is one of the college fleet. We probably have a few cars still out at uh, Ding Hu at the new campus. Then here we have one of the dormitory buildings which, as we can see by the doors, is currently under renovation. So they're getting these ready for the comprehensive students that are going to be coming in. Uh, all the dormitories are getting things like air conditioning put in which they haven't had before. A lot of bathrooms and stuff replaced. I believe a lot of the dorms, so currently, well we can see in here we've got 12 beds in here at the moment. So it's, they get very, very crowded. I believe now that they're sort of coming down to being just comprehensive students, they're trying to get all of the 
uh, rooms down to four per room, which will be much more comfortable. I have seen uh, new beds and stuff coming in, which look like they are a bunk bed on the top. So this takes us up to the second floor of this building. So yeah, the new beds, bunk bed on the top with a desk and cupboard space and stuff underneath. Uh, out here we sort of have open areas where students come and sit and a playground over the far side there. Car park for staff here. So what we're going to actually do here is we're going to head out to the right. We're actually going to go outside the college, uh, walk around the corner and come back in from the front of the college. So just having a look here, we see this artwork here on the wall of this dormitory, dormitory, yes, dormitory building. So this is all carved into cement here. Some wonderful pictures, writing up there, which I'll have to get translated one day for us. So we see these there, nicely done. It's looking a bit old and cracked at the moment. I hope they're gonna fix, fix this sort of stuff up when they do the renovations. So just in here, we have a little demountable building which was built uh, at the start of the COVID pandemic just for students to come and have their COVID tests and stuff like that. And if anybody needed to be isolated, they had rooms set aside for that for students who are coming in. And then we have a guard shack here. So we have a guard on the back gate and on the front gate just to check. Then electronic gates here. So these cameras on top will detect your number plate. If you have the right number plate, you're allowed, the gate will open and you're allowed in. Otherwise the guard will come out, check your credentials. Um, yeah, so uh, the gates are pretty much left open at the moment uh, because there's no students there. A lot of the locals from around the area will come down to use the playground and stuff, uh, especially late afternoon. So you get a lot of people coming through to uh, use the facilities, a lot of the local community. So on the right here we have, this is Jiao Ching's number five middle school. So as you can see, what have we got? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm losing count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors of classrooms and the like. So, yeah, so they'll go, uh, what, 13, 14 and 15 year olds, I would imagine. Uh, and they will go home at the end of the day and stuff. Once you get to high school, a lot of high schools in China, you actually live on campus during the week and go home during the weekend. Sort of the higher end middle schools, a lot of those do have dormitories and stuff so students can stay over. Okay, on the left here we have sort of parking facilities. This is mainly used uh, by middle school teachers and by hospital staff which we're just coming up to the hospital on the right now. And a few of our teachers park in there occasionally as well as sort of an overflow thing. So just looking on the right here now, we're gonna have a look in the back of the hospital here, which, so this hospital is actually affiliated with our school. Uh, a lot of students go in here to do prac work you can see a couple of, well, you can see one ambulance parked in there. So like I was saying in a video, I think one of the ones from Yunfu, the ambulance service is very different here uh, in that the hospitals actually run the ambulances rather than an outside organisation like in Australia, it's uh, St John Ambulance. So we have a pharmacy over the road there. We have done a video around here, so we're not going to worry too much about this stuff. We'll just have a quick look at these shops as we go past here. So we have a stationary store here. So you'll often find kids in there at the end of the day buying pencils and pads and books and whatnot. Lots of little food places like this. Uh, so yeah, dumpling places, noodle places. Fairly good price, actually very good price really. So a little place here selling, looks like fried chicken, barbecue stuff. 
Uh, another restaurant. Then we have hairdressers in here. Uh, this is a restaurant, not open at night. That one's open during the evening times. Then we have a bread shop, little bakery. Uh, this in here is a convenience store. He's normally open. I'm not sure why he's not open today. That's unusual. Uh, another food shop, another uh, stationery store. This is sort of all food on sticks. So you order what you want and they'll cook it up, hand you a stick of food. Here's an ice cream store. These are, these are popping up everywhere here in Jiaqing and apparently popping up everywhere all over China. I did watch a video, apparently here's a, uh, another pharmacy. Apparently one of those ice cream stores opened in Sydney in Australia for the first time, uh, it was the first Australian uh, store. And apparently they had hour long lines out the front for people wanting to get in and uh, try the new ice cream. Uh, here we have a little snack store, so they sell sort of chips and biscuits and drinks and candy and stuff like that. New coffee store, Luckin Coffee. Haven't been in there, don't like coffee, not interested. Uh, a lot of so it's a tea, tea shop, long tea. And then a couple more food stores. Uh, one of these, I think it's the one on the right, is actually owned by a Muslim family, which you'll often see them out the front uh, at the appropriate times making uh, making prayer. So down on their knees, they'll be uh, set out the front here, right up near the road, and facing, I don't know, which way is Mecca? I believe they are looking at, yeah, trying to face Mecca if I remember rightly, but I don't know too much about the Muslim faith, so I'm not sure. So in here, we used to have a hospital it has since become some sort of medical facility. I'm not exactly sure what they treat in there at the moment. But now, now we are coming down to the front of our school. So this is our dormitories up here. Going right up, we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine floors of dormitories here. And we see the air conditioning units on the side here. These are all brand new, so I don't know how these ones operate, but I know a lot of schools, the uh, air conditioning is actually operated by a private company, uh, outside company, and they will uh, basically, you have a QR code inside your dormitory, and you scan that with your WeChat, so the students actually pay for their air conditioning via a third company. So they're not actually run or operated by the school. I'm not sure if that's how we are operating. Uh, but yeah, I can endeavor to find out if people are interested. So here we have the uh, signage out the front, Jiaqing Medical College. And then this is our main office building up here looking right up so we have 16 floors i'm not going to be able to get the gimbal back far enough to uh look right at the top so we're going to go for a little walk inside actually the rain's just about stopped so we're going to just pump this umbrella away and we'll go for a walk around the college grounds and have a look at what's going on so here's our front gate so the gates are closed for this one and we have a guard house here so yeah, if you want to come in and your car's not registered with the, with the school, you'll have to speak to the gate, uh, the gate man there. So over to the left here, we have a cash machine for the China Construction Bank. Down on the left here, we have classrooms running down the left. We have, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six floor of the classrooms here. Uh, Actually, we'll duck down the veranda here and uh, try and get a look in a couple of these classrooms if we can. So, same deal. These are all under construction at the moment. In fact, all these trees here that you can see are 
Actually, they're all leaning over a bit now as well. So these have all been cut right back at the moment because they are doing painting along all here. And the trees did go right up to the buildings. So yeah, they had to cut them back to make it available for painting just to free up the space. It actually, I walked back when I came back from Yun Fu and I was looking up at these going, geez, something's wrong here. They've, yeah, it just, it does look, it looks totally different. So this first classroom here, uh, is the door open? No, they're shut. So this is a lecture room, big long room. We have gents toilet. So we have toilets on each floor. Uh, most of the, of that end classrooms are lecture halls. So big long rooms in here we have, so we don't know what they're actually going to put in here now. In here, we used to have a couple of radiological machines, so MRI and stuff that students could come and practice. So we see here uh, CT training room, but they've gone now. So all these classrooms are getting a nice paint job and refurbished. A lot of them will be getting their uh, teaching facilities upgraded. So. A lot of the blackboards will be going to be replaced with electronic blackboards. So, actually, what do we have in here? No, that's just a... So they haven't actually been replaced yet, but I believe that is the goal. So this was actually my first classroom when I first came here. This was my classroom for my 2016 students. Ah, oh, happy memories. So if we go, we'll go in and uh, just have a look at, oh, we'll have to go in from the other end. That front door's not open. So if we have a little look in here, uh, it is a mess at the moment. Like I say, there's, so we can see like up here, everything's been covered with plastic, getting ready for painting. Looks like they've put on the first coat. So, up at the teacher's thing, we have microphones and stuff. I've never used a microphone for a class. I have a pretty big voice, so it's not really necessary. We have a computer built in there. Uh, pull out these drawers. You've got your mouse and keyboard and stuff. Uh, projector. Where's... Okay, the projector was up here. That's been taken down. So that would be projected up onto here. So, so, so this is a... This looks like an electronic board. It's got plug in here, but I, it's not a, so maybe that in conjunction with the projector, you can do like touch screen stuff. I'm not sure. I'll have to explore that. This is all new. So we haven't had a chance to play with this stuff yet. So as we head out of here, so yeah, we've got lots and lots of classrooms in this building. If we look over on the other side here, uh, which you can see again, there's lots of work going on there. So over on the right hand end of this building is all, so down the bottom on the very right is another lecture hall. Then as we go up, there are things like nursing prac rooms. So they'll have them set up like a hospital room. There's uh, dentistry, uh, all that, whatever courses we teach here. And then uh, over onto the left, we have offices, so nursing office. Uh, the second floor up there is the English English department office. Uh, all that sort of stuff in here. We'll just head in. So that little electronic screen, you can just see. I'm not going to go right in because there's lots of building equipment in there. But that is, you can top up your food card. So when you go to the canteen, we'll go and look at the canteen in a minute. In the canteen, the students will have a card and they go order their food and then just swipe their card and they get their food. So we have this lovely little path through here. This is all sort of sticky up rocks. So it feels really nice on your feet as you walk along, especially if you've got thin shoes. I'm wearing thongs at the moment. Uh, or for Americans, flip-flops. <laughs> Don't confuse your thongs with your flip-flops. Um, and then just looking back into the main office building here. So in here we have 16 floors, 
all the different department offices. They also have the computer rooms. Uh, what else have they got up there? We're not actually going to go up because a lot of the floors, the same as back there, are being refurbished at the moment. This is the uh, sort of entry. Actually, let's go have a look. We have a we'll have a look at what the floors are. So, first floor: stomatology, stomatology, stomatology skills training room, psychological consulting room. Second floor: teaching affairs office, student affairs, personal department, party office, admissions office, security section, higher education assessment. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so lots of that sort of government stuff. Third floor, administrator, college office one, college office two, finance, conference room one, two. Fourth, administration, audit, computer rooms, network center, per department, so on and so forth. Uh, let's go down. To, so, fifth floor, Traditional Chinese medicine, pediatrics, electrical audiometry, dark room, eye function testing room, so on, so on. Sixth floor, prenatal examination skills, gynecological uh, simulated delivery room, pediatrics department. Seventh floor, IC, ICCU training room, simulated ultrasonic, and so on and on it goes. So lots of different departments as we go. Hospital emergency treatment training room, nursing techniques demonstration room, surgical basic techniques, surgical advanced techniques, animal disposal area. Oh, I hadn't seen that one before. Uh, integrated animal operating center. So that would be no doubt where they do, you know, all that sort of stuff, practice on animals. Uh, 12th and 13th floor library. 14th floor, academic hall, entertainment room, educational technology center, electronic reading room, state subsidized student loan archives. 16th floor, students reading room, 17th floor, students reading room, medical beauty skills training room. So yeah, lots and lots of different stuff happening in that building there. So just as we look at the uh, Prac building here, we see we have five floors there. And then around on the right here, we have the playground area. Well, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's funny, they call it a playground here. I don't think we'd call it a playground in Australia. It'd be a sport, sports ground. Uh, playground is generally more, you know, play equipment for kids, uh, swings and slides and roundabouts and the like. Whereas here we have running track, basketball courts, badminton courts, uh, volleyball courts down the far end, a few exercise things for pull-ups and there's some parallel, be parallel bars and stuff like that down the far end. So then we're going to move around to our left here and we can see here one of the school's buses. We have three big blue buses like this. Uh, there's another one parked over there. Is the other one parked in here as well? Yes, it is. So they're all parked here at the moment. None of them have been left out in their school. We actually had this uh, structure over the buses had to be rebuilt oh, three or four years ago. The old, old one actually got taken down by a storm I think, uh, I think one of the trees came down on it from over on our right. Yeah, so one of the branches up here somewhere came down on the top of the old structure. The other thing we have here is under construction, a new staircase going up outside of the building. So, yeah, that was not there when I left to go to Yunfu and I came back and they're building this staircase. So, yeah, the... Uh, steps were all down through in the center of the building there you went in through that way but no we're going to have an outdoor staircase so we're going to move our way around here uh in front of us now is more dormitory buildings <coughs> uh which well as you can see by the tools there these are again all being refurbished as we speak 
see if they've got the new furniture stuff in here yet you can just see in this window no they've still got the old stuff in there it'll be nice to uh, find one with the new gear so same as that last building we have a new staircase here which isn't as new this was actually built a couple of years ago they decided they needed a little bit more access for the students so then heading up in front of us now so right directly in front of us is those uh, uh, student dorms we saw from the outside and then just on the right of that is more classrooms uh, so we have what have we got one two three uh, six classrooms in there that's only three floors that building it's only a little bugger uh, more student accommodation here which okay i can see they're putting new doors and things on all of these as well so yes all the dormitories you can see out here all this uh, rubble and stuff from their works they've been doing so yeah there's a lot of work going on here at the moment it's been going on for quite some time uh yes it's all happening here at Jiaqing medical college so in front of us here now we have a Oh, actually, before we go there, let's just have a look. Have they got any of the... Okay, no. So this room here was occupied by the water people. So you get big, I think they're 20-litre barrels of water. So all the, st all the dorms have a water dispensing uh, thingy bob. <laughs> inside and they yeah order their water from there they get a really really cheap price uh because yeah you can't drink the tap water so that's what they do here so down the side here these lockers here are all for parcels so you basically come in you'll get a text message uh it'll give you a number you come in punch your number on the screen on the keypad down the bottom here and your locker will pop open and you can pick your parcel up this is the parcel center so if you want to send parcels you come and see these guys in here it's not open because there's no students here at the moment but they're really helpful uh, they look after you if your parcels too big to go in the lockers then they'll have it in here and you just go in there and pick it up okay heading around to our next building here so this is canteen so we have two floors of canteen in here uh, first and second floor are canteen up onto the third floor we have uh, a big auditorium type room so they sometimes do sports in there so that room actually covers two floors it's a big open space they have special events in there concerts uh, performances of one type or another and they also do music practice up in there so around the edges of the second floor there's like balcony around the outside and they will uh yeah do music practice up there they do lots of dance practices a lot of the different groups use that area so this here wow that's very empty uh normally this is full of tables and chairs so this is a canteen we won't go in because again there's lots of work stuff so we'll have to come and do another tour uh, once the students get here and all this work's finished, it'll be really interesting to uh, come and see how things have changed. Right, let's see if we can get upstairs. No, it doesn't look like we can. That's all shut up. Uh, so we see all these Gree boxes. I believe these are all to do with the air conditioning. Uh, but I could be wrong. We might just take a quick walk down around the back here there's not much to see down here but we'll have a little look So this area used to actually be much bigger so 
that car park we saw down the side so this is the side road we walked down at the beginning this car park used to actually be open we had a lot more of these uh, table tennis tables spread out around here I don't know what they've done with all the old table tennis tables they might have to replace these they're looking a bit wonky actually but uh, yeah that's a lot of that's due to the fact they just haven't been used for Ah, oh, we haven't had students here for nearly two years now. So here's our Gree boxes and then if we look up we can see the air conditioning unit. So this is all fairly new stuff going in. So yeah, it'll make students' lives a lot more comfortable. And then down on the backside here is the rubbish collection so there's bins all around the school and they'll have people come around pick up pick up all the rubbish this is a collection point and then I believe they can get it no they must have a truck coming in now they used to take it out the back out into the side road around the side when this was all open but now they've made that car park they don't have that access so I've got I think there's a truck comes in a couple of times a week or something to empty the rubbish probably be more often once students get back in here again yeah so that is basically our old school so just coming back what are we looking at there no that's not that's the building out in front of the school so yeah, this school's been here since, oh, I'm trying to remember when they built it, I think it was the late 1950s from memory, someone might have said. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but yeah, it's well, well time for a bit of an upgrade and get some air conditioning and stuff there, fixing up a lot of the, a lot of the bathroom, bathrooms and stuff showers and whatnot uh getting better hot water systems in and yeah hopefully once they've got just the comprehensive students here they can sort of spread them out through the dorms a bit more give them a little bit more space by having less people in each dorm because yeah when it was the second year students here the place was used to get it was packed so it's not a very big space for the amount of students that we we have so also just as we go a little bit further we'll look back at the playground uh, so yeah just to sort of show how crowded things were uh, so on the other side of the playground there is a wall which we'll see when we get past this bus here oh that's somebody up working on the uh on those new steps there so this part of wall just in front of us here is actually brand new that was all open uh the school also had those dormitories in front of us there were more classrooms and office space through there that we needed uh because yeah we did have lots more lots more students here the apartment buildings over on the right were actually hired by our school for students because we just needed the space where the the numbers of students was getting so big uh yeah we just had to find more space which is really why we have the new school out at ding Hu. Uh, because you know this just was not appropriate for what we do anymore you know the uh, I think I think our school's got a pretty good reputation we've got very good teachers and stuff and uh, because we uh, we tend to accommodate a lot of students from poorer backgrounds who maybe can't afford to go to a top flight school the students who come here are really 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 keen to learn you know they love 
they love the idea of being able to improve their lives, improve the lives of their family and community. So students are very, very uh, keen to learn and they try really hard and very enthusiastic, which is why I love being here. You know, I, I could probably go to another school, earn plenty more money, but you wouldn't get the same students, you know. The, it's just, this is a wonderful, wonderful place to be teaching. And I think most of the teachers get the same thing, you know, the, because the students are so, so enthusiastic, the teachers just love teaching here. So that's pretty much our school. So that there is where we started, the taller of the buildings there on the right. Uh, so that is my apartment building there. So we're going to end it up there. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of our old, old campus here in Jiaqing. Uh, yeah, if you have, get yourself subscribed to the channel. There's plenty more stuff coming up. I have lots of, lots of places I'm looking at doing videos in the near future, weather dependent. I was planning on heading up to Dinghu today, but this weather's just not conducive to it. So we'll do that another day soon. Uh, yeah, so get yourself subscribed, like the video if you've liked the video. Comment if you have questions or suggestions or things you would like to see, things you would like to learn. Chuck a comment down in the comments. Uh, and thanks everyone for watching. Stick around, there's plenty more to come. Take care everybody.